Hey, welcome to Pause on Purpose. Hey, three words for you today. Time, talent, and treasure. What do those all have to do with integrity? What do those all have to do with honesty? Everything, right? How we spend our time, how we spend our talent, how we spend our treasures, all have to do with representing our integrity, right? If we're at work, how are we spending our time? If we're filling out our expense accounts, how are we being faithful? If we are um, taking our paycheck home and we're going to Vegas and blowing it on the casinos rather than coming home and taking care of our family, are we being faithful? Now, that's a ridiculous example, that last one. But my point is the same. Time, talent, and treasures demonstrate faithfulness, demonstrate integrity, demonstrate honesty. And today's pause on purpose, Paul tells us about a steward that their main job is not having the best degrees, not having the corner office, not even have great titles. Notice what he says, 1 Corinthians 4, 2. He says, now a person who is put in charge as a manager or steward or employee or minister or pastor or missionary, where you fill in the blank, even in your own life with relationships, as a friend, a person who's put in charge as a manager of that must be found faithful. Didn't say perfect, said faithful. None of us are perfect. But a person who has integrity admits that they've made a mistake. For example, I had my car worked on by a mechanic recently, and they do a good job and everything. But I came back, and there was a dent in one of my fenders. Now, I went to the mechanic, the owner, and I said, hey, look, I don't want to make a big deal out of this, but this was not here when I came in. And he was obviously upset. And he talked to his employee, and he, he basically said, next time this happens, you need to let me know. The young man is a young buck. He's not used to the ways of the world, and understanding integrity is admitting your mistakes. He's still learning that. And thank God the mechanic gave him a second chance because I didn't want to be responsible for this kid losing a job. In fact, I made it clear. I told the mechanic, look, I'm not trying to get this guy fired. I'm just trying to help him learn. And he agreed. And so he went and talked to the uh, young buck and the kid gets it. now. <laughs> he, he got the message. And so in our time, talent and treasure, are we being faithful to the Lord? Not, not to me, because the way the Lord's asking me to be faithful is different than the way he's asking you. And that's good, because God works with us as individuals, not as clones. That's a beautiful thing, because we maintain our individuality, but we're united with Christ. And that's our union, is Christ. And so what he's asking you to give is a different amount than what he asks me to give. How he asks me to spend my time is different than the way that you spend your time and how God's asking you to use your gifts well same thing because your gifts aren't like mine they might be but probably not and so today how do we spell integrity faithfulness that's how we spell it and God only asks us to be faithful in all our endeavors and especially in what? Time, talent, and treasures. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk very soon.